Hello everybody and welcome to the final episode on Southwest Norway. This is going to be a bit of a shame to finish this series. However, we do need to make way for Naveswell Extended. Now, yes, I think 15 episodes is probably the optimum length for this series because it isn't the biggest map in the world. Obviously it is quite an expanse of land, but a lot of it is just grassland. Um, so. It's going to be quite hard for me to continue the series, however, I still will be playing this in my own time, just not in a video. Um, but yeah, today, the job is to go and get the trailer. We need to fill the trailer up with everything we have in storage, because we need to sell everything. We need to sell everything which we have added to the farm, so basically every piece of equipment which wasn't with the farm when we bought it and also any grain which we have put into storage. If it's grain which was already there, then we're going to keep that where it is because the next owners can sell that. Uh, so yeah, first job is just to go and get the trailer. I think there is some wheat or possibly barley to sell. Um, yeah, the wheat and the barley I think we should do. Um, but yes, everything else, the, obviously the corn, the potatoes, sugar beet and wood chips, they were already there. So we're not going to mess around doing that. It is just the stuff which we have produced. So uh, yeah, this should be quite a fun episode because we're going to see exactly how much money we get from this at the end. Obviously we're not selling off the farm itself, so we don't actually get any money for that. But all of the assets for the farm we will be getting rid of. We're selling up and moving to Naveswell. Right, where have I put it? Really, have I gone and uh, driven to the wrong place? I have. I've actually just seen that trailer. You absolute buffoon. I'm always doing that. Yes, we do also have four silage bells as well. They need to be sold. I'm hoping we're going to get many thousands of pounds for those because if they're fully fermented, the silage bells are worth a fortune, as you'll probably know. Uh, so yeah, we've got a few things to do. Let's just reverse into the uh, fill point here. To be honest, I really don't think there's much. Uh, yes, we'll leave that piece of wheat in there. It's the barley we're going to go for. That could be what we started off with, but yeah, it's just extra. There we go. And now we can go and sell this over at one of the two cell points. Which one is better? Right, okay, we've got the... Uh, are they, these two are usually the same. They are again. I think we'll go to the Landy Agri Shop because we haven't been there too often. It's probably slightly further. But yeah, the other place we go to every single time. Right, so here we are. Let's sell this stuff. It's not going to be too much, but it doesn't really matter. And this is, of course, where we were moving all of those bits and bobs with the crane last week. And a few people actually, yeah, coming back to that video, a few people did say that I gave it way too easy with the Volvo with the low loader. And, yeah, I said it wouldn't fit. Lots of people then argued and said that it would fit. In real life, yes, I believe it would fit. You are correct. However, in that episode... Before I started to record, I wasn't going to me even mention this, but I, I probably should do. Before I started to record, I did check and make sure that it wouldn't or would fit onto the low loader. And I discovered that, no matter how hard I tried, it would just keep falling off. So that is the reason why I gave up so easily, because I already knew. I was just going to keep it like that, but yeah. As so many people have said, I just wanted to make it clear that there really wasn't anything I could do. It just wasn't going to fit either way. So hopefully that clears that up. But yeah, in real life, yes, it probably would fit. So that is everything I want to sell which is in storage. I don't want to sell stuff which we didn't produce ourselves. So yeah, that is everything there. The next important thing we need to do is to sell the silage bales, which we definitely did produce. I'm just hoping they have fermented. We're going to need a bale spike, ideally a grab, but a spike will work, and the telehandler. The telehandler is already up there, so we could use the Volvo BM for the last time. I doubt I'll be using it in another series because it would be a bit out of place. So yeah, let's use this today. We 
be nice as well. For those of you who don't like it, like I say, this is going to be the last time we use it, so I think not to use it today would be a bit unfair. I actually like it. I think it's quite a funny thing. It's very nice in its own way. And from people who actually own this thing in real life, they've said it's very stable. It can pick up a lot of weight without tipping forwards. So I think it is quite a reliable machine. The Merlot is here already, but we did lose the uh, grab from that because... Oh, don't rock. Don't rock, please. Engine off. It's still rocking. Oh, it must just... Good. Yes, it likes to party. There we go. Yeah, the Merlot is here, but we will be using it on a different map, probably. I've actually used it quite a lot. Right, can we uh, move it out of the way? The Merlot is a great tool. It really is. Originally from FS13, I think. Judging by the wheels. You can tell because they, they look different to uh, the 15 ones. Oh yeah. You don't get in from the side. Someone already picked me up on that. You get in through the front. So that does show how old it is. It's like those... Um, bubble cars if you live in the UK. Actually I suppose that yeah I think they probably were sold to Europe as well. Back in the 60s. It makes me sound old but no I was not alive in the 60s. Oh I, I might have offended someone there. Sorry if you were born in the 60s you're not old don't worry. Right. Flip them up. There we go. And knock one over. But they're on. Actually they're on very well. go and two more I might have to try and flip this one over now there we go as a lot of you have pointed out before spiking wrapped bales is not what you do however because we're going to sell these and they're going to be used straight away we can do because the wrap is coming off Come on, there we go. Yeah, I think I've said it before. I wonder how the bale, what the bale physics are like in Farming Simulator 17. I wonder if they're the same as 15 or if they're, I suppose, I wonder if they have a bit more of a mass to them. They feel very light in 15. But they're certainly a big improvement from any of the other versions. Four wheel drive is needed. Come on, get back on there get back on. Some bales just don't want to go. Well it's on at least but it's not very good. Let's go and sell these things. We should just have to drive through the sell point. We shouldn't need the Volvo again. Uh, which is actually a bad thing. I do like the thing. Ah yes. This is the trailer which doesn't allow you to strap them on. This could be quite troublesome. Especially when the tractor's got stuck and it won't stop dancing. I mean, if we go steady, I'm going to have to set the cruise control. Set it to about 18 miles per hour. It should be okay, hopefully. And straight to the cell point. Oh, I've just remembered. Oh no! The cell point, at least what I'm thinking of, to get to it you have to go up a steep hill. So all these are going to roll off to the back. It could even roll off completely. This could be interesting. Hmm. Didn't really think of that. The turning for the place we need to go to is just here. I did increase the speed because it seemed to be okay. But as for here, I don't know. This is going to be interesting. It's times like this when you really need the locking script. This first bit should be okay, but further up, it is not good. It's 
suppose we could be surprised they might not move an inch but that'd be hard to believe keep going don't stop now you're in New Holland you have got power uh, they're actually that's incredible how are they not rolling maybe the trailer has the automatic sort of uh, stickiness to it you know uh, the base game trailers have that when a bale gets close enough it sort of grabs the trailer but not so much that it can't fall off at all just enough so it doesn't move I should think this trailer has got the same thing because it is made by a giant so that is quite likely right okay straight through and it should sell oh actually no don't don't we didn't check uh, it is not fermented yet that was so close okay we'll give it a minute I was so lucky I checked this one is on 99.4 percent virtually there 98.3 here okay the end one there we go that is fermented and it is now worth 2687 pounds this one's still going uh, that one there's done that one there's done as well so pretty much there 99.9 .9, and we're done we are ready to sell slow down time here goes we should get roughly well somewhere between eight and ten thousand pounds here oh, I've hit a bale unbelievable that's a nice little cash boost it was definitely worth it but yes, that was so close, can't believe it. Last second there I thought, wait, are they fermented? Quickly slam on the brakes and have a look. And they weren't, can't believe it. So all that's left to do now is to sell the machinery. But we're not going to transport everything back to the sell point because we don't deserve the bonus. We should just get the money which they're offering if we just sell it straight off. The reason why we don't deserve the bonus it's because we are bad drivers. Most of the tractors have been on two wheels, the trailers have been on their sides, and everything else has just not gone very well. So, <laughs> we're just going to sell them straight away. And partly because it would take forever to uh, transport them all up there. So, we won't get this back to the yard. We'll just have a look and see what we actually own. And then we'll sell everything, which we do own, and get a final figure it should be around two hundred and fifty thousand pounds I'd have thought can't say for sure but yeah I would have thought that would be uh, roughly where it would be also while we've had these machines they've got older they've had more use we've put hours on them so yes they definitely use machines so there we go it was a shame that we never used this Volvo BM tractor. It just had a few issues, so I think it would have made the videos, um, well, for a start, the, the sound is quite loud, but it was lacking a tow bar. You can see something there, but I could never successfully attach anything with a draw bar to it. So that was a bit of an issue. It, admittedly though, the three point linkage did work very well. So we probably should have used it, but it's got such plain textures, I think it's from like I said before, I think it's from FS09 actually, looking at it. Uh, so we couldn't really use it, but it does look good just sitting in the yard for display. It certainly suits the yard. In fact, it can probably stay. We'll give it away to the farm, it looks pretty good. And there is the Vulture, the Vilemet, and that is, again, a decent tractor. We just had to get it back, I did sell the first one. But it just was, that was the stupidest idea ever. I should have definitely kept it. They're good looking tractors, and the thing which is always very distinctive with the look of them to me is up here. You've got this uh, styling, and from a distance you can always tell what a Valmet tractor looks like just because of this on the cab. Those lines. Um, but yes, let's begin. We can't sit around all day. What do we have then? We have quite a lot of machinery. As I said at the beginning, we're not going to sell everything, so all this stuff here we'll be keeping. We did buy the auto stacker, so we'll sell that. And we did buy the wrapper. But the basic stuff 
will be staying with the farm. So here goes. The Valmet tractor, £1,500. Yes, it wasn't worth too much. The uh, logging trailer, very, very nice logging trailer, that, the Kamaz, and that has got the automatic sort of loading script to it. 425. Worth more than that, in my opinion, but there you go. Marston trailer, 8262. It's quite expensive. The T5, recently bought. The uh, 6290. The 3080. These were all very good machines. Ah, the Merlot. It's going to be greatly missed. We're going to have to get it back in a future episode future series. Uh, the new Holland should probably stay with the farm because I did replace the first combine with it so that can stay. We never did use the Lemkin. Um, I was going to but then we sort of didn't have enough horsepower for it. The Deutz file wasn't too far away. I think it's 150 horsepower but this required 180. I didn't really check. Physically in size it didn't look too big but it was. It was just way too big so Yes, it has to go. The class liner, that's uh, rented. The Volvo LM, that should probably stay actually. We'll keep it here. The drill we'll get rid of. And the livestock can stay as well. Fuel t the fuel tank can stay, the wrapper will sell. And as well, yeah, we've got the auto stacker. So we finish off with 235,878 pounds, which I think is quite decent. Actually, not too far away from my estimation there. So what does it look like now? Yes, <laughs> very empty. It's certainly not looking as good anymore because it's got a lot less machinery. Um, but yeah, I think if we keep these things, that's only fair. And Actually, I don't know how much this farm would be worth in real life. Probably quite a bit of money. It's pretty big. But yes, it is split into a lot of different sections. That is what all the numbers are for. Um, so yeah, field 20. Well, it says field 26, but it's actually yard 26. Uh, 25, 21. We didn't really buy anything there. It's a shame. I probably could have done more with this series, actually. And I could return in the future. But it was just a bit of a taster series, this. It, it's been a nice series. A little mini series. Uh, we did need it because I've done way too much on the English side of stuff. Way too many English maps. It's nice to do something different for a change. So, yeah. I think it's actually gone down pretty well. And that is everything over here. There's the bell shredder. So that is it for this series. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Um, I just want to give a, a good special thanks to Simulator Modding NL. The creator of this map. It is a fantastic map. And you should be really proud of yourself. It is very very nice creation that you've got here um, and I hope that more people play on it in the future but as for my series that is it for now but yep we might do another one-off episode in the future sometime not too sure so there we go thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again in the next series which should be Naveswell Extended thanks for watching and see you again soon bye for now